Jabari, can you hear us? Yeah, yes, sir. Perfect. We'll continue this media session with running back Jabari Small. To ask questions, hit the raise your hand function. We'll start with Austin Price, then we'll go to David Ubbin. Jabari, you kind of, you know, got a little bit of work last year, but you've drawn so much praise this spring. What, you know, what do you feel like you're doing that's allowing you to draw this praise from the coaching staff and just kind of take, take me through your mentality as a guy that was last year kind of one that just kind of got some reps, but now, you know, looked at as kind of the guy early on. Mm -hmm. Well, early on, uh, even when the coaches first came here, I just tried to be a, a great person, you know what I mean? Just try to harp on the little things. Uh, do everything right, and um, I think this this coaching staff they uh, they do a good job of just uh, creating relationships outside of the uh, football program. Uh, we, I've known Coach Mack before he got here. Uh, he's from Memphis. We from the same area, so I think uh, it was just relationships that were already formed. And uh, this spring, I just feel like uh, I just tried to work on some things that I, I thought I was weak uh, weak at last year, as far as protection, uh, running more physical. Uh, getting accustomed to the speed of the game. So I just feel like uh, just me knowing, knowing my weaknesses from last year and just getting better at those. Uh, yeah, Jabari, what did you think when you see Eric leave, you see Ty leave, and you sort of look around and, and you know, you're the guy that's the most experienced guy left? Um, next man up, uh, even with the last staff, uh, even in football in general, it's the next man up mentality. I uh, wish those guys the best. They were great leaders for me. Uh, they taught me a lot, but uh, I, I take it as a challenge. Uh, you don't want to run away from a challenge, so. Patrick Brown and Eric Kane. Hey, Jabari, we talked to uh, Coach, Coach Mack yesterday, and he said that you were born to be a running back. So how long have you been playing running back? Is it something you've been doing all your life? I know you had a couple, I think, uncles that were wide receivers in the SEC. Have you always been a running back, or is that something that's maybe a little bit more recent? Uh, I've always been a running back. I, that's like the first position I played. Uh, my dad, my uncles, my two uncles, they played in the ACC. They were all ACC wide receivers. Uh, I just always grew up around a game of football. Uh, you know, I always wanted to play in the ACC. And uh, my running back is just natural. That's just my position. So I played it for a while. What do you What do you think makes you a natural at it? Uh, my vision. Uh, my vision and uh, I harp on not, get, not letting the first man tackle me, really. So. Hey, Jabari, uh, you know, some fans really admired about the way you ran the ball last year is you run hard. You, you know, lean forward. You try to get every yard you possibly can get. Do you pride yourself? And maybe when you lack in stature, you just try to make up for running the ball hard. And also, how are you adjusting to this new scheme early on here in spring? Well, I definitely think I, I have to run with a chip on my shoulder, uh, not being the biggest running back. I have to set, separate myself somehow. Um, so I definitely try not to let the first man tackle me. And as far as this new scheme, it's amazing. Uh, we're moving the ball very fast. Uh, we're, we're catching the defense off guard sometimes. Um, you know, it, 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 as long as we execute and uh, buy into what the coaches are doing, I think we'll be fine this year. Ben McKee, then Wes Rucker. Jabari, Coach Mack talked about the finer details and, and how that's how – or that's what he's been harping to you all this spring. From the player's perspective, what does that look like in terms of Coach Mack harping on the, the finer details to you all? Uh, from the simple things like footwork, uh, uh, eye discipline, uh, reads, uh, having the right track, uh, ball security, just the little things, the smaller things that uh, make you a good player from a great player, or losing games from winning games. So – I feel like he's doing a great job of making us uh, watch film. Um, watching film is another thing. Uh, just, just being very detailed so we can all become uh, complete, complete players as a whole running back runner to uh, get this uh, team a spark next year. Jabari, you know, when you found out, if you could take me back to, to when you found out that Josh Hypo was going to be your head coach, how long did it take you to sort of start YouTubing some uh, some UCF games and trying to figure out what that offense was and, and what were your first impressions of watching how quickly they go and the points and everything? Uh, I did my research very quickly. Uh, I loved what I saw from when I researched, researched uh, his offense from his past teams. Uh, I was just anxious to get ready to meet him, you know what I mean? And uh, it, it's definitely, he's an offensive mastermind. So it's an honor to be able, be able to play for him and um, his staff. Trey Wallace, then Vince. 
Hey, Jamari, what's, what's the relationship been like going back, you know, winter workouts last season? How is that coming along with the offensive line in the running back group? Uh, how are the, those meetings going and uh, just trying to build up a group for, for you to run behind? Uh, the offensive line, they're very hard workers. They're great people. Uh, they're fun to be around. Uh, um, they, they're so smart. And um, I feel like me just being – having a year under my belt now, just understanding how blocks will uh, – blocks will um, – uh, develop in college ball, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, being patient in my runs and uh, having that relationship with the O-line, I feel like it's going to be great for us. Jabari, give me a little scouting report on a couple of the new running backs in your room, Tyon Evans and Jalen Wright. Talk about skill sets and what you see from those guys. Uh, I'll start with Jalen. Jalen, he's a very athletic, uh, athletic, athletic running back. He's very fast. Uh, He's uh, strong. Um, he's getting used to the uh, uh, college game speed, uh, but it's just going to come with time and, and more reps. Uh, he's he's going to be a great running back here. And Tyon Evans, uh, he's a very physical uh, running back. Uh, I haven't seen him in uh, spring ball yet. I'm very excited to see what he does. But uh, he's going to be a great player. He's, he, he has all the tools from pass blocking to running, running you over to running past you. So they're two great running backs. Gustavo, then Ryan. Jabari, with, you know, seven practices in, what do you see from your unit, you know, developing, you know, how you guys see the progression through all those practices you guys have been working uh, through all, you know, for the past couple of days? I definitely see us playing faster, uh, knowing what the coaches want, understand how to practice under the coaches. Uh, just the, the the speed that we play with, we're, we're getting better every practice, and you can tell. Uh, it's just finding that chemistry, uh, whether it's the the running backs and the protection or the wide receivers and the quarterback. Uh, it just takes time, and I think like I, I feel like we're we're getting there. We're taking some big strides this spring. Hey Jabari, two quick things. Uh, just first, what what are your thoughts on Coach Mack and and sort of adjusting to his style so far? What what do you like about him, and what are the differences there that stand out? And then and you mentioned the scheme. Do you feel like the scheme is a better fit for you in some ways, or how how is that kind of is this has this change benefited you in some ways because it maybe plays to your strengths a little better? Uh, first, Coach Mack is a great person. Uh, he he's a very detailed coach. Uh, he's very honest. He's very very honest with us, and he he lets us know what we need to work on. And he also praises us on things we we do well. So he's just a great all around coach. Uh, I relate I relate to him well because we're from the same area. And as far as his offense, I feel like this offense is great for anybody. You know what I mean? Uh, it's very fast. Uh, our receivers are split out wide, so it gives us a lot of uh, vertical open seams. So uh, I feel like th this this offense. Uh, could, could help any running back or receiver or quarterback. Uh, it's just a great offense to be in all around. Any other questions? We'll finish with Vince. Jabari, talk about that mesh point with you guys doing those RPOs with the quarterbacks, kind of riding you at the hip a little bit more. How much of an adjustment will, will that be? Talk about that aspect of the, of the game. Uh, I feel like I feel like that's just gonna take time and, and reps. Uh, it's definitely something to get used to, but uh, it's something new. Uh, you should want to learn more things to do in, in the game to become a complete player. Uh, mesh point and transitioning right into a pass protection block is definitely different. But I feel like this brain uh, allows us to just get better at the things we're not good at. So I think we'll be fine there too. Thanks, Jabari, for your time.